Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's topic is on mechanics, uh, center of mass. All right, now let's read through the question and explore more on mechanics. All right. <clears throat> okay. Now the uh, the question sounds like this: uh, A thin uniform wire of mass 12 m is bent to form a right-angled uh, triangle ABC. Now the lengths of uh, sides AB, BC, and AC are given as a 3A, 4A, and 5A respectively. A particle of mass 2m is attached to the uh, triangle at B, and another particle of mass 3m is attached to the triangle at C. There. Now the bent uh, wire and the two particles form the system S. Now the system S is freely suspended from A and hangs in equilibrium. And then uh, finally, we are going to find the size or angle between AB and the downward vertical. All right, now let's take a look at uh, visually how uh, the structure of this rigid body actually look like. Right? <clears throat> so you can see that from this diagram here. Okay, now the triangle will look something like this. Okay, and then uh, <clears throat> Okay, it's made up of a triangle ABC, a length uh, 3A, 4A, and 5A here. And then it's right angle at B. Uh, we have both the uh, particle 2M is attached to B here. And then we also have another particle attached to um, C. All right. Now let's take a look at how it looks like. So a particle 3M is attached to C, and then a particle uh, 2m is the test to be there. Now bear in mind, uh, this is just the uh, first possibility how we can actually draw the triangle ABC because the question never gives us how the structure of ABC would look like other than the dimensions of the triangle ABC here. So if you were to draw your triangle in this orientation, um, ABC counterclockwise, uh, then it should look something like this. Uh, the two masses attached to C and B are given here, uh, 3m kg. All right, now that's what we have. Okay, now of course uh, we may need to set up um, an axis uh, in order to determine the center of mass of this uh, system S. All right, now let's take a look at how do we uh, set up the uh, axis for this, right? Okay, we can say that axis looks something like this, right? <clears throat> uh, where the A is the origin, uh, you can set up your axis any how you like, actually, right? So, for convenience, in this case, we will treat A as the origin, in this case, right? <clears throat> All right, now once we have set this up, okay. Now let's take a look at what else do we need uh, before we start uh, to dive into the calculations to determine the center of mass. All right. Okay. Now um, I will assume that okay, this is just my assumptions or maybe your assumptions too. The center of mass uh, will be somewhere um, in this uh, system S here. You can see that we will label that uh, center of mass as uh, x bar and y bar where x bar is measured horizontally from the vertical axis of y here and then uh, the y bar is uh, measured um, vertically from the axis x uh, axis a b here All right. so we assume that the center of mass will be somewhere here now in order to work with this uh, center of mass okay now there are a few things we need to uh, figure out here. The first one being, uh, we need to treat the uniform wire, even though that uniform wire is a uh, matter of uh, 12M, but it is bent into three sections here. So we're going to treat all this uh, section AB as a separate uh, thin wire of a mass 3m because they are all proportional to their length itself so this uh, piece of uh, wire ab uh, will has a mass of uh, 3m uh, this piece bc here will have a, a mass of 4m whereby the length uh, ac will have a mass of uh, 5m in this case 
Now, therefore, by using the axis that we have set up, uh, we are going to apply the uh, principle of uh, moment here uh, to work out the center of mass. Right. <clears throat> now, since this is our center of mass, um, by using the principle of um, moment, we can write that. Now, uh, first of all, the total uh, mass of this system is actually, uh, we have 3 here, 5, and 17. So we're going to write that as um, 17m. All right. And then uh, by using a vector structure, I think vector structure is much more easier. Okay. <clears throat> now that will be the sum of each individual uh, rigid bodies that we have there. So we're going to start off from uh, this uh, piece of uh, thin wire AB. So now that will be 3M. It has a mass of 3M. And then uh, the center of this, yeah, maybe uh, try to write this okay now the center of this um, piece of wire AB from the uh, with respect to the origin A here uh, is treated as 1.5 A then the Y is 0 and then after that we're going to continue on with uh, 4 all right this one has a mass of 4 M okay so there's 4 M and then it's located at um, 3a and then uh, 2a are uh, from a and then uh, next we're going to work out this uh, thin wire here before we look into the particle itself so this is uh, 5m now uh, there will be a 5m and then it's located at um, 1.5a from a and then it's located at uh, 2, 2A. <clears throat> okay, now that's how um, the sum of individual um, component in the system S here. Now, before that, we also have uh, this uh, mass here. So I'm going to include this uh, mass now. That will be uh, 2M. And then this is located from uh, 3A. 0 and then finally we have this mass here 3m and then uh, that is located at uh, we know that there is 3a and then uh, 4a all right so from here we are going to sum up all these uh, components here uh, now just let me write it down properly so we have for uh, 4.5 now since all of them have the same mass so you might want to remove the mass assuming that the mass is not zero in this case okay now 4.5 a here we have zero and then now uh, we have uh, 12 a uh, 8 a here then that will be 7.5 a 10 a here and then we have a 6a 0 plus a 9a and then 12a <clears throat> okay so that's what we have and then we can sum all this up uh, let me see 12 24 30 39 all right so we have 39a here and then there is like a 20 30 so 30a okay therefore uh, therefore here we can conclude that the center of mass with respect to the frame that we have uh, or we are using here it is uh, 39 over 17a and 30 over 17a here and then there you have it that will be the center of mass for the system s that con consists of a thin wire of length 12m that has been bent into a right angled triangle and then um, a tesh with uh, two extra uh, mass particle in this case uh, two uh, 3m and 2m right uh, that's the that's our center of mass right now i hope this is clear uh, bear in mind uh, do do not treat this as a triangular lamina because this is not a uh, a plane ABC rather than it's a uh, it's more like a frame that consists of uh, a thin wire AB, a BC and AC here.
right now I hope that is clear okay now we're going to uh, move on next to discover uh, the angle theta um, between AB this is line AB and the downward vertical all right now what what do they mean by downward vertical here? All right, now I'm going to show you that uh, shortly. All right, let's take a look at the second part of this uh, question here. Now, before we dive into the uh, working itself, let's look at what do they mean by the system is really suspended from A and hangs in equilibrium. Now, we know that if we hang this system in equilibrium, uh, now the uh, the line that passes through the center of mass uh, would be passing through the point A also. Now, let me illustrate uh, this by uh, through a very simple simulation here. All right, animations more like. Okay, okay now this is how uh, the system S is been suspended um, at A. So, if we suspend this uh, structure uh, from A itself and hang in equilibrium, the uh, line would uh, pass through the center of mass in this case it will pass through the center of mass and uh, at the same time it would pass through the uh, point A here so this is our center of mass the center of mass that we have already obtained I just rewrite this again uh, we have the uh, x bar y bar here Okay, now the x bar and y bar that we have obtained previously was this one. So just uh, write it down for reference here. We have uh, this and we have 30 over 17a here. All right, now that will be our center of mass. Now, if you hang it in equilibrium, um, now because the center of mass is located here, this is a point where um, all the uh, weight will be assumed to be acting on uh, and then this is a total of uh, 17 uh, m kg of mass that will be acting uh, at this point here right? <clears throat> okay now let's take a look at how do we work out the angle now between a b so this is a b here the angle between a b and the downward vertical so this is the downward vertical and then this is the angle that we are interested to get and then uh, we have already worked this out uh, this one is our uh, based on the um, center of mass that we are obtained uh, this is actually our y I just rewrite that again uh, in case it's a bit uh, confusing for you and this is y bar and then uh, this part here will be the x bar uh, measured from here to here All right and then uh, by using a very simple trigonometry ratio we can uh, work out this angle here now by looking at that we can say that tangent theta is basically equal to the ratio of uh, these two here and then we know that uh, y bar over x bar so y bar over x bar that is 30 over 17 a over 39 over 17 a here okay and then uh, of course we can simplify that as um, 10 over 13 and then therefore uh, the angle will be given by the inverse tangent 10 over 13 here and then uh by using your calculator, you should be able to obtain that data should be uh, approximately. Let me check on what I have again. <clears throat> I think I'm, I'm, I should be getting 37. Okay. Hold on. Just let me check for a while. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. After checking through the calculator, I... I'm getting myself 37.6 uh, to the nearest three significant figures. Now that will be the angle between line AB or the thin wire AB and the downward uh, vertical there. 
right? Now I hope uh, these illustrations uh, will help you to understand the mechanics behind the center of mass. Right? Now next, I'm going to show you another configurations of your rigid body uh, that you might have. And then how different is that compared to our first uh, possible uh, configuration, right? Uh, I'll show you shortly.